Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars. This is a 1956 Ford F100 shop truck build, and it's got a really cool patina to it. It's got a Crown Vic donor vehicle underneath it, so we've got power uh, steering, power disc brakes. We've got um, a V8 fuel injected engine, automatic transmission. All dialed in real nice. We're gonna take it for a quick spin. Something, I think maybe under the dash might be squeaking a little. You can probably hear that squeak. Just a, the tiniest vibration sometimes will make something squeak. The transmission just shifts flawlessly. It's perfectly smooth. Plenty of power out of the engine. Got power steering, of course, it steers perfectly straight. Tons of power. Power brakes, of course. This thing will throw you through the windshield. It's actually pretty quiet in here. Whatever that little vibration thing is, is it stopped. Of course, who knows, it might start right back up. You can hear how quiet it is in here. And she's still warming up. Just a nice, quiet, which I'll let, hear you, let you hear the exhaust. I love 56s, they're my favorite year Ford truck. Uh, actually, I guess, a, well, favorite year of the F100 for, my, for me. Nice, quiet. But then when you stomp on it, you got a good growl, V8 growl out of it. But while it's uh, idling, it just sounds nice and clean. Let's see if I can open this with one hand. Uh, almost. There's always a secondary there. Let's see, I'm still doing it with one hand. There we go, did it. Nice, just smooth, smooth running engine. Oh, there's that squeak again. Something, something's got a little vibration going on under there. It'd have to be chased down. Uh, definitely just a shop truck build. Um, like I said, donor vehicle, Crown Vic, firewall and inner fender wells are in good shape. It is hot as the dickens today. You got that independent front suspension and all that. And I believe this is actually all a bolt in situation instead of cutting the original frame. And so, uh, you still got the original, you know, front bumper brackets and everything like that attached to the original frame, which is really cool. Uh, most of the time when these are clipped, the frame has to be cut, but with a Crown Vic conversion, they can just be bolted in, which uh, keeps you from compromising the original frame. So consistent with a truck that's a shop truck like this, you've got spots of rust and patina all over the place. I'm going to go to shut this back down. There we go. And of course, always a little bit more difficult to do this with camera in my hand but keep in mind keep that in mind great patina on this truck consistent from bumper to bumper all the parts on this truck i believe uh, at least from what i know the truck to be fairly original um, uh, so it sits nice and low the only thing i might say is it's just a hair lower in the back than the front just a hair almost unnoticeable but you could either raise it up just a little bit with a you know, I don't know, a block or something like that if you wanted, or just lower the front just a little bit down. Uh, or you could just drive it like it is. I mean, it's super cool, and if I didn't mention it, you might not notice it. It's literally that little. But it's just enough to me to mention. Brand new pressure-treated wood bed here in the back. Nice and clean looking. And just all the way around, the truck's got, you know, lots of patina and character with the dents here and, you know, dings and stuff there. Just very, very consistent. 
matching set of Cobra wheels on it. Mustang Cobra wheels. Tires have a uh, decent tread. They're not definitely not new. Uh, actually, that rear tire, now that I'm touching it, I'm going to take that back. These are older tires, and the tread is pretty worn down on them. Uh, they're still safe to drive on, but uh, that might be something that would be needing to be replaced. Windows are a touch stiff when you go to roll them up, but they still do roll up and down. Glass is in good shape here on this side. A little bit sticky. Got your scratches. This is probably an original windshield. But believe it or not, I don't see any cracks in here. Okay, there we go. I found a crack right there in the back. So it looks to be like original glass, original dashboard. At least it's not cut, which is nice. I don't like it when people cut their original dashes. It does have the old heater down there, but I don't think it's hooked up. And it looks like it's only a part of it. I'm trying to get the camera to adjust here a little bit. Just some, you know, odds and ends wiring down here. It's not the prettiest thing. And in fact, we thought about doing some wire loom, but I don't like trying to hide stuff. So, you know, not the prettiest wiring job, but it all works. Seat covers in good shape. No rips or tears. No headliner. I do believe the windshield wipers are not working. We can try. Turn the key on. Nope, windshield wipers are not working also. As long as I got it there, let's see. No, I was trying the, uh, trying the, um, the heater. Oh my goodness, it's hot. Doing multiple videos today. The hottest, one of the hottest days of our summer here in Atlanta. Window on this side as well. A little bit stiff. A little stiffer than the other one, but still rolling up and down. The mechanism is working. Probably needs to Probably needs to be greased. Felts are definitely missing. This is original, so you know it's very old. Nice seat on this side as well. No rips or tears. Underneath the truck. Whew, that's burning my back. You got some fiberglass filler on the bottom of the fender. I mean, I'm sorry, cab corner here. And underneath the truck. I can't stay under here long. It is boiling hot on the concrete now. So I'm going to say from what I'm seeing, this is not a rusty bucket truck, but it's got some rust on it here. You know, the undercarriage is consistent with what you see up top. Inner fender well. I think the heat index is about 104 for us today. Got their inner fender well. Inner fender well on this side. Let's see if I can get my camera in there. You can see that rust right there. You can see the light through it. There at the bottom is pretty common. Little spots of rust down there at the bottom of the fender. This is a great driving truck. In fact, I kind of had a guy who was coming to buy it and one of those ones where you know, get permission from the wife before you go to buy a vehicle man because the if she doesn't want it you're probably not getting it and uh he said man this truck rides awesome like a ride at the like a ride at six flags all right so this looks like a new cab corner on this side step sides are in, appear to be in good shape now they've been re-welded it looks like with some new metal here's the cab inner cab corner there it's got some rust in it and then your floor pan looks okay all right i gotta get up all right well there you have it 1956 ford f100 with a crown vic running gear power disc brakes and these are actually disc brakes front and rear power steering cranks right up fuel injection drives down the road at 80 miles an hour no problem this is a cool truck